Hello Knitters, it's Tuesday and I apologize for the background noise, but it's basically the sound of me not freezing. How awesome was last week? Last week was so freaking epic. I, everybody did such a great job and it was really fun and I'm glad that we did that. It was great. We should do something kind of like that again sometime. Maybe not exactly, but yes. That was fun. Maybe like, what if a cele celebrity was a knitter, and what would they knit, and something like that. Ideas for the future. Um, do 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 do. I really don't have that much to say. Um, I had my last finals yesterday. Like, I only have had three classes this semester. They were all four credits, so yeah, I had twelve credits. Um, but yeah, I had my last two finals, like I said, and so now it's just work, 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 like. We're going to be busy. It's going to be crazy. Christmas time is always real busy at theaters, so it's not like I'm going to have much downtime. But in the meantime, between now and next week, I have some knitting projects to finish, like my little sister asked for this scarf forever ago, and I was like, oh, right, I should probably make you that. So this is her, her scarf I'm making her for Christmas. It's really basic. Um, it's got this baby yarn that's all rainbowy and this really fluffy stuff, so gonna do that. So yeah, that's mostly, well, that's about a third of the way done. Um, so I've got that to finish, and a couple more of those uh, deck bags for friends who play magic, and maybe some hand warmers for a couple people, and yeah, I should be able to finish all that. I've got Wednesday completely off, and then two days next week completely off. So yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see, for Christmas Eve, I'm planning on doing, and I'm going to talk to you guys again before then, so I'll have even more plans, but today I decided that on Christmas Eve, I'm going to throw a little dinner party for me and some of my friends, because a bunch of my friends have to work on Christmas or aren't going to be able to see their family, so I figured, since I'm going to be, like, all over the place seeing family on Christmas Day, I would, um, take the time to make some of my close friends dinner and yeah we could sit around and have a good time so put that into the works so that's the gears are turning on that one so I'll update you guys on that next week and um yeah so other than the theme this week I don't think I have anything to talk about um book review week I haven't actually read a book in a couple months like basically since I got the internet it ruined me I've read so many books the month we didn't have computers and internet here and then since then it's really kind of grinding to a screeching halt. But anyway, um, I'm going to talk to you guys about A Dirty Job by Christopher Moore. Uh, I definitely recommend any of his books. They're all really funny and really clever. And it's basically, basically about a guy who becomes a Grim Reaper. And, yeah, and all these dark forces are trying to take over the world in most of San Francisco. And it's, it's really, really, really funny. If you like kind of tongue-in-cheek dark humor, I definitely recommend it. Um, he's written a lot of other books. Um, I have two of them, and I only see one. I have one called Lamb that's about, um, let me grab it. Ah! Uh, Lamb, a novel, the uh, Gospel According to Biff, Christ's Childhood Pal, also very tongue in cheek. And then Blood Sucking Fiends, that's the other one I have, it's about vampires only it's kind of silly too um yeah so anyway this book is hilarious also the cover glows in the dark so that's kind of funny um and yeah i it had me laughing a lot more than i thought like i'd heard good things about christopher moore i, I have a friend who kind of knows him and she was always talking him up a lot and usually when someone hypes something up to me i usually end up being disappointed not at all with that. Um, well, the, the ending wasn't quite what I expected, but overall, definitely a great book. So if, if you're cool with dark humor and, and need a laugh, anything by Christopher Moore, especially A Dirty Job, is a good pick. So um, that's all I have to say, and yeah. So Kayla, I will see you tomorrow. Everybody have a nice week. Bye.